Hello mathematicians, or shall I say statisticians. Uh, we're going to continue our video series with summarizing uh, data points, summarizing entire sets of data with measures of center and measures of variation. So we're, today we're going to be finding the, uh, a measure of variation, which tells us how spread out are the data, um, called the mean absolute deviation. The mean absolute deviation. And that's this term right here. Uh, mean absolute deviation is just, it, it sounds very uh, complex, but it's very simple once you get a, a feel for what it's actually getting at. First, you want to find the mean of the entire data set first. And that's what we're going to do first. Then we want to find out how far each data point on average is from the mean. So we first have to figure out what the mean is and then figure out on average how far each data point is from the mean and um, that that will give us an idea of how spread out or um, or variant are the data points how much do they vary All right, so the first thing we're going to do um, is this is a slightly modified data set from what you've been seeing in the past if you've been watching these videos um, still the same word problem but instead of uh, nine observations, I now have ten observations. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces of data from the sample of students um, to figure out how far they live from home to school. All right, so our first step in finding the mean absolute deviation is to first find the mean. To find the mean of the data, as we've learned in previous videos, um, we first have to add up all of the data and then divide by the number of data points that we have and this will essentially this one number will summarize and tell us what the mean um, of the data is and and that's a measure of the center of the data alright so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add up all of the data points I like adding um, up very strategically um, I like always trying to make 10 pairs first or numbers that add up to make 10 so I always, I'm going to add up my tens first. So I have 10, 20, 30. All right, I have 30, so I keep this, I keep this written down up to the side. Then I have, I have a 7 and an 8. That makes 15, plus another 5 makes 20. So I already have 20 now. So I have 30 and 20. So far I have 50. Then I have... Uh, an 11 and a 14 which make 15 and a 7 and an 8 which make um, fi which make 15 two 15s make 30 so I've now added 30 to the mix so I have 30 plus 20 plus 30 now gives me a total of 80 so again to find the mean we take the sum of all of the data and then we divide it by how many data points we have so the sum of the data is 80 and we divide it by the number of data points we added up, which is 80, which is 10, I'm sorry. And then 80 divided by 10 is 8. So our mean of the data set is 8. So if I took, if, if I took numbers from, if I took some units from the bigger uh, values and brought them down to the lower values, it would all even out at 8 if I distributed all of the data uh, equally among 10 equal parts I would get 8 and that's why I actually do the division here for more information on this you can watch the video um, on the the idea behind the mean um, in the video series in statistics alright so we our mean is 8 what we're gonna do now is we're gonna figure out how far each data point is from the mean and the mean is 8 so I'm gonna make a quick table over here we'll make a quick table and I have 10 pieces of data. I'm going to calculate each data point, how far it is from the mean. How far it is from the mean is going to be its absolute deviation. Now, when I say absolute deviation, I know that there, I'm going to get negative numbers or positive numbers. I'm not concerned with the actual sign. When I talk about absolute, I'm not concerned with the direction or the sign of the number. I'm just considered with how far it is. So it'll be just the number itself. All right. So our first, I mean, let me just list all the data points out first. I don't have to worry about them later. 8, 
ten seven seven eight ten eleven ten and then five and four okay let me just separate these out And again, make sure I have 10 pieces of data. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, great. Now, my job is to figure out how far each data point is from 8. So I could do 8 minus the mean 8, which would give me 0. Or I can say, how far is 8 from 8? And it's 0 away. Um, 10 minus 8. So always do the data point minus the, the mean. Okay? 10 minus 8 would be... 2, uh, positive 2, so it would be 2. Uh, 7 minus 8 would be a negative 1 if you did this on the calculator. Um, but again, we're focused on absolute deviation. So how far is 7 from 8? 1. How far is 7 from 8? 1. How far is 8 from 8? 0 away. How far is 10 from 8? Two, 2 whole numbers away. How far is 11 from 8? 3 whole numbers away. How far is 10 from 8? 2 whole numbers away. Uh, how far is 5 from 8? 3 whole numbers away. And how far is 4 from 8? 4 whole numbers away. Alright, so I have now found the absolute deviation of each of the data points from the mean. My job now is to find the mean absolute deviation of the data set. To do this, it operates in, the, in, simil, in, in a very similar way because I'm trying to find the mean of something. So to find the mean of something, um, especially the mean absolute deviation, I'm going to add up all of the absolute deviations and then divide by how many deviations I actually calculated. And I had 10 deviations, so to find the MAD, the mean absolute deviation, I'm going to add up all of the, all the, all of the deviations with their absolute values and then divide it by 10 because I have 10 deviations. All right, let's add these up. 0 plus 2 is 2, plus 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4, plus 0 is 4, plus 2 is 6, plus 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11, plus 3 is 14, plus 4 is 18. So the total is 18 and now I'm going to divide it by 10. To divide a number by 10 I hope that you understand that there is a faster um, way to do this besides having to write it out like this. I mean if you have to do it like this of course go ahead and do that um, but if you're dividing by 10 all you have to do is move the decimal point in the numerator or the number that you're dividing um, one place to the left. So there's decimal point in 18 is right there. So if I move it one place to the left, notice how I'm not writing it uh, on the problem yet, um, but it's going to be 1.8. So the MAD or the mean absolute deviation is 1.8 from the mean. Now because this is absolute deviation, this means that the data on average, what does this mean? This tells us the average distance from the mean to each data point is 1.8. That's what, the, that's what the mean absolute deviation tells us. It tells us that the, the average distance from the mean itself to all of these data points is, uh, is 1.8. Now, uh, what does this mean? It means that if the mean is 1.8, then if I went back 1.8 from, from 8, um, let me do the calculation here so you can see it. If I went to the left, I'd be at 6.2 so 
So the, this is the average, of course. It's, it's, not exactly, it's not exactly the distance for every point, but it's the average. Um, so if here's the mean, uh, the data points uh, typically go 1.8 before 8, and then 1.8 ahead of 8, or more than 8. So that would be 9.8.